really intense. It's, it's very tight. But you've got some clearly defined, you know, good passing zones and other sections where you are just bottled up behind cars no matter what. It really puts a burden on, on us drivers to maximize everything that the car's got, you know, right up to the last inch on the wall, but not past that last inch. It's really about timing, setup, um, how you get over the bumps, how their surface changes. Every year you go back, people fight harder. They you know, chase you a little bit more. And I think, you know, we'll certainly go to Baltimore with a, with a target on our backs this year. Street courses are always technical and really tough to string a lap together, but I'd say that Baltimore has to be as challenging as any temporary track I've ever been to. Um, it's really about timing, setup, um, how you get over the bumps, how their surface changes, but I think that all of that is what makes it such a great track. Um, I'm really excited to get there and see what changes, improvements have been made, uh, having a different promoter um, and, and maybe some surface changes over the railroad tracks and layout, things like that. Um, it's a great atmosphere. It's great to be on the East Coast and to have a metropolitan you know, community that comes and, and sees sports car racing maybe for their first time, but I think there'll be a lot of uh, returnees this year. It's very challenging in a lot of ways. It's uh, really bumpy, you know, there's been the, the whole railroad track situation and whatnot, but it really does make for great racing. Uh, the turn one, yeah, turn one is an uphill battle, let's say. <laughs> A lot of action takes place going into turn one. Uh, you got that access road. There's a lot of action coming out of turn one. It's uh, it's wild there, but um, all in all, it's a it's a great event. It's a great venue. You know, tons of people there these past two years. Really, a lot of excitement and, and energy, and it's really a, a great place to race. Baltimore is interesting. It's got some slow corners and some some fast corners. You really have to set up your passes pretty much a whole lap before. You really got to focus on. You know, I gotta make this pass here and I gotta make it stick. And there's not a lot of room. I mean, you can put two wheels off at any other track, you know, in the grass or something like that, and it's not really that big of a deal. But at Baltimore, you can't do that. So your passes have to be precise. And that's one of the things that makes it really challenging. It lets us, you know, maximize what we can with the car while still racing. And that's, you know, what the fans love and that's why they come there to see it. Baltimore has been a great race for Falcon Tire. I mean, you know, we were strong from the very first event there. We won there uh, the first year, and we were able to come back and win the second year. And you know, to win somewhere two times in a row is difficult. Uh, to three-peat is nearly impossible. I hope we can pull off the nearly impossible, but certainly there is a ton of competition chasing us down there. I don't think anybody wants us to win a third time, uh, and I don't blame them.